Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're having an issue with your printer that says that the printer driver package cannot be installed. So this error may be common on Epson branded printers, but can also occur on other brand names as well, such as Canon, Brother, HP, Xerox, for example. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and search for services. Best match, should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go and locate the print spooler service. And double click on it. If service status is running, go ahead and stop it. And then you want to go ahead and start the device. So stop it and start it again. And set startup type to automatic. And then you would select apply and OK to save the change. Also consider restarting your printer and your computer as well, so restart both devices there. Something else I want to take a look at would be opening up the search menu. And you want to type in settings, best match, come back with settings, go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select Bluetooth and devices. And then you want to select your printer device from the list, so where it says printers and scanners, go ahead and open that up. And then select the printer you're having the problem with here. And then you're going to select where it says Printer Properties. And then select the Ports tab. Please make sure that the port is correct. You may have an incorrect port. So make sure that the description is correct. It's not just blank information. You might have accidentally set it to a default port that is not the correctly configured one. So definitely something I would take a look at there. And then also, if there are any drivers available for your printer online through your manufacturer, I'd recommend downloading and installing them as well. So again, it's something else you can take a look at. And then you can also go underneath find a setting and type in troubleshoot. Best match should say troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. And then on the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the printer troubleshooter and then the run button that corresponds to it. And then hopefully again, that should have been able to resolve the problem with just power cycling your printer and your computer as well. So let's just go ahead and restart our device here. So hopefully that was a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.